Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to today's episode on Showcase the Dark Souls 3. Now, get the neutral knights. They don't like me. If you watch a couple of my videos, you see that. They really don't like me. I probably fight them more than anyone else, if I had to guess. Now, for today's weapon, it is the Great Mace. What makes it great? Well, not really sure on that note. I know it's big. They call it the Big Mace, the Giant Mace. But a Great Mace? That's questionable. <laughs> Description of this weapon reads, Large mace, built by a knights of the Cathedral of the Deep. Extremely heavy strike attacks of this weapon are devastating and will break weaker shields with a single blow. We will put that to the test. Wielding such a weapon will require inhuman strength. Will it now? Are you sure? I lift heavier stuff. <laughs> the skill is the Perseverance. Anchor up in the earth to temporarily boost poise. Damage reduction while activated. Mind you, the perseverance for heavier weapons isn't really the best thing. It works, but usually for heavier weapons, you must drop it on the ground and then cast it. And the delay of that small delay is often the reason why no one's supposed to be able to use it. But oh well. Now, moving on to visually, the Great Mate. Is very reminiscent of the Perch Natch variety of maces. I should have pulled up a small picture. We are pretty familiar with these maces if you've seen many video games. They're maces with wing flanges popping out. Perch Natches are usually made with either 5 to 8 while protruding flanges. Now, these are weapons that are effective because they can penetrate armor with enough velocity, but however, the individual on the ground on the foot on foot will have trouble doing that, so these were often used on horseback. Just picture that, of getting hit in, the, hit in the face with one of these at all, from a guy on horseback. And you can see why they used them. But yes, one on the ground, it would just dramatically less effective because of its weight. And this great mace would greatly amplitude that problem. <laughs> I don't think no horse can carry this on your back. So, moving on to the stats of the great mace. Physically, well, you better have a lot of physical out of it, because it's not a very fast weapon. But yes, we got a lot of physical damage. However, the bonus damage sucks for that amount of physical we get. 55? Come on, my strength is 50. Man, it sucks. Oh well, moving on to a tree of bonus. We only got D for strength. That That's pretty disappointing if that's my strength bonus for this weapon. Ugh. For our tree requirements, we need 32 strength. You need a lot of it. Then again, look at this weapon. It's heavy looking. And lastly, on top, we got the Perseverance, which takes a rough cost of 12 FP to cast, but you can do it repeatedly back to back. The way of the weapon is also quite heavy. It's 18.0. That is a very heavy weapon. Then again, is anyone really surprised here? No, didn't think so. Look at animations to the Grey Maze. They borrow from the Great Hammer set. So no surprise is going to be here. The basic attacks overhead dropping. Power attack is a single, pretty much same, same move, just a bit more Epsons on how heavy it is. <laughs> Two-handed wise is probably the best way to go. You could bring it back and forth like an impossible arc swing. Two-handed power attack is a very heavy wind-up drop on your opponent. Very heavy looking. Very heavy looking. And the roll attack, for what rolling I can do with all this on. The basic roll attack is a very quick swing. A bit jarring looking when you do it with a slow or flat roll. Heavy power attack is a more heavier drop on your opponent. Left handed offers no new animations whatsoever. None. This is a basic attack in the basic defense. Now you got the perseverance. Which is okay. But it still takes a second to cast, and that precious second is your opportunity to get into the enemy's, you know, combo. And the sprint attacks a quick drop on the enemy. Now, when upgrading the Great Mace, luckily it takes Tate Knight shards. And you get quite a bit of for, for physical. That's 17 points. And for bonus, not nearly as much. You get 8. Ugh. Now, I gotta be careful not when upgrading these because I get so damn many when fight those damn Great of Alt Great Knights. But you can see going forward, we're getting a lot of physical, but not so much bonus, and the true bonus is not changing. And there, on the first Tate Knight chunk upgrade, it'll go to C finally, but 
that's a really bad bonus. That's not, that's not very good at all. Hmm. You can break a lesser shield in one strike. Let's test that. I haven't fought these guys in a while. Oh, damn. They weren't kidding. Wow. They did break that shield in one hit. Okay, the description doesn't lie, at least. That's good to know. Uh, that's only if you wield it two-handed. <laughs> okay, I'm back to the actual fight. The first, the first one was just to mainly see if the description was lying or not. Now, since I can only do fat rolls, I brought the great shield with me. So this way, I don't have to roll nearly as much, I can just defend. And as you see, it's very useful defending with the great shield. Though, I still prefer to be rolling. Ah, now this is the frustrating part, is trying to, you know, backstab someone with a huge blunt weapon. There we go, 102. Okay, here, 105 damage, which isn't really that impressive. That's pretty standard. Against our targets with no armor, it's pretty devastating. Very. Alright, I have no doubt it has no trouble getting through his shield. Or, my shield. <laughs> I got him up. Let's test this. Boom. And boom, there we go. I don't think I can get there in time and do a critical. Nope, couldn't. Ugh. Not enough stamina. Come on. There we go. Getting for another hit. There we go. <laughs> Very slow, but effective. Okay, against a Gorgo, though. Let's see, let's drop it on him. Very powerful <laughs> charge of attack. I don't think you can get through its shield, though. Let's test it, though. Nope. Right there is the best attack I could throw at it. It didn't happen. Still good damage, though, going through a shield. Let's try it again. Nope. Still nothing. Okay. Anyhow, let's move on to the Black Knight. Facing a Black Knight with a slow weapon like this, it's going to be a challenge. Now, I like to charge my shield into enemies because it's amusing, but you know, it's not very helpful. Oh, can't kind of fat roll away. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta defend his attacks and get behind him. Easier said than done. While still having stamina left over. There we go. Okay, second attack didn't hit me. It's alright. Charge attack. Very, uh, charge attack seemed to be more effective than, you know, I was going for backstabbing. And using the special, I decided... Oh man, that special's no good. He's just keeping up with me. Yeah, you need that special. You can't be wasting time on that. Alright, let's move on to the pros and cons of the Great Mace. Pros? You got a lot of damage being outputted from this weapon. Clearly. You can go through most forms of shields. Except for the giant ones. And that's kind of it for the pros. Very basic. Cons? It's incredibly heavy. It has a very slow swing speed. The special isn't truly that helpful. And has a high stat requirement to start with. You need 32 strength. That's plenty. That's a lot. So yeah. Going to the score for the Great Mace. Damage gets 8 out of 10. It did pretty good damage. And that's, that's certain. Reach? 8 out of 10 as well. Actually a good reach for a Great Hammer hit multiple targets if I wanted. I did it a couple times, but any anyway, animation gets 3 out of 10. Offered no new animations at all. Luckily, it's a weapon you can find somewhat in the middle of your playthrough, so at least not a 1. Bonus, 3 out of 10. That bonus sucked. For something that relies entirely on strength, and I had 50 strength, that was a really shitty bonus. It's kind of bouncing track of 3 and 2, but I decided 3. Misc, 4 to 10. Because uh, it is historically accurate, but there's a lot of things like working against you with this weapon. Despite it has good damage, there's clearly other weapons that don't fight against you with its weight, its slow attack speed, and its crappy bonus. So, 4 to 10. So, in total, the Great Mace gets 26 out of 50, which is good, just barely good. So, it's kind of like that. It's good, but it's still bad, kind of vibe in my mind, because there's other weapons you could wield. But oh well. So, in my opinion, those Cathedral Knights can keep their giant mace. I got other weapons that are much more effective, faster, stronger even, and have useful specials. But, uh, 
It's still a good weapon. It's good. Eh. I'd probably prefer to use the smaller mace, to be honest, for my opinion. <laughs> Didn't have the great mace. Like I said, the great mace, it isn't so great, apparently. Anyway, that's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there.